okay, we're using this table with a 55 inch ground plane that represents the top of a truck or a car or any vehicle you're trying to tune an antenna to. Uh, the tools that we're going to need for this operation is going to be a tape measure, a good hefty pair of wire cutters, a 1 16th inch Allen wrench, and some kind of safety goggles or prescription uh, safety lenses for your glasses. We need the F MFJ antenna analyzer and the antenna that we're going to be cutting. So here I have the antenna connected to the output port. Some of the buttons required will be the power and the power source, function, exit, and mode, and on the right hand side here we have a tuning knob. Uh, to turn the unit on, we need to have the power source in battery position. It's in and then power on. We're going to select number three, antenna. And the buttons are a little bit slow to react here, so you can't quickly push a button and expect immediate response. <clears throat> uh, the antenna that we'll be tuning this time will be 135 megahertz. So we need to change the center frequency to 135 megahertz, and we need to change the span to its maximum. Along the top line, you see some parameters. If I click the mode button, I'm changing that mode parameter right there. So first thing I want to set is going to be the frequency. And I need to change this to 135 megahertz. And right now I'm on 10 megahertz steps. So now that I'm in the frequency mode, I'm going to adjust the knob and you can see the center frequency change. I'm going to go to 131 megahertz, like that. Now I'm going to press mode for S, which is steps. Now when I adjust my knob, it will change the steps and I want to change my steps to one megahertz. Right now it's set for 10 megahertz. So there's 10K, 100K, one megahertz. And I'm going to press mode to go back to frequency. There's frequency, and I'm going to adjust my knob to hit 135 megahertz. All right. Just a couple of other settings to pay attention to is, would be width. I'm going to change my mode to W, and as I adjust the knob, you'll see that it is changing the span or the width of the screen. And when you're changing the width, you're changing from the, from the starting frequency, not the center frequency. We want to have the maximum width, which is 23.6 megahertz. That's 23.6 megahertz from start to finish with 135 megahertz in the center. The other option I want to show you is uh, this mode right here. This is actually the mode of the analyzer, and I would click function, that would be a return loss mode, there's an impedance mode, resistance mode, uh, and I basically want to select S, which is SWR mode. And here I see my SWR from 1 to 5 to 1. The analyzer is now set up to adjust an antenna for 135 megahertz center frequency. We'll remove the antenna from the package. And in the antenna package, you will find not only the antenna radiator, but an O-ring. And the O-ring is used to go over the mount on the car or the vehicle. It will go in this location right here. And you have a piece of paper from the manufacturer of the antenna, which has some important information on it. Okay, this table will give you a starting point for the antenna that you're trying to adjust. We're going to be adjusting a 135 megahertz antenna. As we can see here, 132 megahertz is 20 inches. 136 megahertz is 19 inches. So the higher in frequency, the smaller the antenna. Next, I'm going to install the antenna radiator onto the vehicle mount. Nice 
nice and tight. And I'm going to use my Allen wrench to remove the little ball on the top of the antenna. Now the little ball will roll away. So my suggestion is to use the O-ring to contain the ball or put the ball in your pocket. So according to the manufacturer chart, uh, for 135 megahertz, the antenna is going to be around 20 inches. So to start, I'm going to cut the antenna uh, a little longer than 20 inches. Let's make it 22 inches for now. So I'm just going to take this. From this point forward, we're going to take little pieces off of the antenna. And to do so, you'll use your wire cutters. And you're just going to take off a quarter of an inch, half an inch at a time. And my suggestion is to put a cloth over it and make the cut so that the piece you're cutting doesn't fly off and possibly hit somebody in the eye. So after we made the initial cut on the antenna, you can see that the antenna response is starting to appear in the analyzer. And the goal is to get the lowest response at the center frequency. So it looks to me as though the antenna is a little bit long, and as I cut the antenna, you're going to see it move up in frequency. And I want to try to find the minimum point centered on 135 megahertz. There's one cut. I'll go again. Every time I'm taking off about a quarter of an inch, maybe three eighths. I'm going to go another time. Yep, yeah, need to go again. Okay, so that's that's centered. And still I have some room to move. Next I'm going to put the ball back on the antenna. And you'll see that once I put the ball on the antenna, the frequency response of the antenna will shift down in frequency. I'm going to tighten it up a little bit there. Lower in frequency. So that means that I need to cut a little bit more off the antenna to compensate for the ball. It's going to take another quarter inch, three eighths inch. Eh, you know, I'm going to go a little bit more. There. Now the response of the antenna is past the center frequency of the analyzer. And if I install my ball, tighten it down, now your antenna is tuned to 135 megahertz, its proper frequency. Now that the antenna has been cut and the ball has been installed, the antenna analyzer shows that the response of the antenna is centered at its minimum point at 135 megahertz. The antenna is now properly tuned.